Hello and what is up YouTube? It's JME Imagine here and I'm back with a brand new video and this is like an updated class setup type of video. Okay, so basically all I'm going to be teaching you guys today is to make the best class on how to get them KEM strikes. If you're struggling, these are the best two classes you can use to get a KEM strike. Okay, so the first one is my most favorite class of the game. Okay, so basically we've got the Honey Badger, we've got the Red Dot, Four Grip as standard. I think they're like, they go real well with each other because like the red grip obviously get accuracy. Like the red dot has always been my favourite. Like there's all, all them other types of uh, scopes, but red dot has always been my favourite for me. And four grip just really gives you that recoil. The good thing about the honey badger is basically because uh, it's integrated with a silencer, then the gun, like you don't need to add a silencer or anything like that. But it's going real good. We've got the silencer, we've got a red dot, four grip. So that's the gun you need. Uh, I've got the blue target dot, the blue dot on that actually. Red dot silencer, it's a red dot scope with a blue dot. That logic, that logic. <laughs> but, um, okay, so moving on to secondary, I do not have a se any secondary or any lethal or tactical. It's up to you if you guys want it, but you'll have to sacrifice a perk or two perks or maybe three or four perks in order to get them because they all cost points. So let's go straight into perks real quick. I've got, ready up. Quick draw, take down, amplify, focus, fully loaded. Okay. So the reason why I got these classes is because uh, these classes, these perks, is because basically speed, ready up. Weapon is ready faster after sprinting. So basically, as soon as you're running, like, you can pull your weapon up a lot faster than what you could do if you didn't have that perk on. So like, say if you're sprinting and you suddenly see a guy start shooting you, you can like halo jump backwards aim in, shoot him, and get the kill off before he kills you. It's a real good perk, and for only one point, it is absolutely, I think that's necessary. Okay, so we've got quick draw, faster aiming. So that perk, um, quick draw, and ready up, work hand in hand together, okay? So, say you've got quick draw on, like I said before, if some guy turns around and starts shooting you while you're sprinting, you can jump, aim in, and start shooting him, so quick draw will help to get that accuracy on, on point, just so you can kill him before he kills you. So I think that's really necessary. Um, and then we're moving on to the stealth perk, which is take down. Kill enemies without revealing their death locations. Okay, this is the new perk that's just been uh, put into the Call of Duty franchise. Okay, so basically what this perk does, if I kill my enemy, and you know like when it comes up like the skull or the symbol uh, from where they've died on for their teammates, that just doesn't come up. So it's just only died on the other side of the map. They don't have a clue where they died when really they could have died next to them. Next to <clears throat> the team. So say if my teammate died next to me, I wouldn't know he died next to me. I could have thought he died on the other side of the map. So I thought I could think my area is clear. But from the opposing side, say if I'm shooting his enemy, I shot him next to him. The guy has no clue. He comes running out. I shoot him as well. So that's a nice two kill. Uh, and that's two piece. Which oh, is always better than a one piece. Come on. You got to agree with me on that one. Okay. So that's stealth. Take down. I think that's good as well. And then we've got amplify. Okay. So Call of Duty Ghost is really important to use your ears and listen. And if you haven't already, I really would advise getting a gaming headset, especially with something like Astros. I know they're expensive, but there are cheap versions, um, cheaper headsets out there. Like get like a Turtle Beach or uh, what sort of other Tritons. You get some Tritons. Uh, so there's a lot of different makes out there, but I love my Astros so much. Um, they're not one of the latest models, but when it comes to clarity and precision, I know exactly where they are all the time. So, yeah, Amplify, I think it's really good because the 7.1 surround sound in the Astros, it really pinpoints them out where, pin, you can really tell where the enemy is, okay? And even with that perk, if they're using Dead Silence, you'll be able to find out where they are, no problem, because you, that will, um, it'll like cancel out Dead Silence so it becomes like normal, so you can hear them, but they think they've got Dead Silence on, so they're constantly sprinting, but you can hear them because you've got Amplify on, and the people who don't have Dead Silence on, you can just hear because... Freaking loud you put that on you'll be able to hear them from a mile away. Seriously. It's crazy. Okay, so the second one uh, the fourth fifth one Sorry, the second one is focus reduce weapon sway when aiming aiming down uh, Reduce weapon sway when aiming down sights and reduce flinch when hit. Okay, so basically say if I'm aiming across map <clears throat> And uh, you know normally it moves just slightly but say if, if I'm aiming aiming over a, a one meter distance a one square meter distance Okay, so I'm aiming there. It really doesn't affect 
me at all. But if I'm aiming across map, which I will be doing with the red dot and foregrip on, I could be aim across map. Just keep tapping the button and it will constantly keep firing in pretty much the same spot. So that's really good. And uh, reduce flinch when hit. That always comes into play because, like, say if someone's shooting you, your gun will stay still and you can just turn around and shoot them. But when they're like, I've just been shooting you, so your gun should recoil up. But... You didn't flinch, your gun stayed still, you battled it, you won the gunfight. That's really important. It's all about winning gunfights and just playing tactically and like learning out the learning like the science and the mechanics of the game. So I think focus is a really good perk. And then lastly for the perks, I've got fully loaded. The reason why I've got this is where the honey badger only comes with about 60 60 bullets, uh, which sucks. Oh, it's either 60 or 90. But with fully loaded, you get lots and lots and lots. I'm sure you get like a Around a 30 in, then you get 180 bullets as well. So you get a lot of bullets, and if you run out with that, usually I think I ran out, I usually run out about 20 kills uh, just around the area. So it's really good because you can get the 20 kills off. And if you're going for a KM anyway, you can get 20 kill streak something, uh, and then pick up another gun. Quite a lot of people use the honey badger, so if you get used to that gun, you can pick up another one, then that'd be absolutely amazing. Um, so I think full load is really good because you'll just get all the ammo, all the stuff. And you can just go to ham. So you just be able to keep going, use the same gun, practice, keep going. So that's it for my perks, okay? So my strike package. This is where it starts getting important. I made a big mistake when I was doing my road to KM strike, okay? I had my strike package on as my specialist, my specialist package. God, I can't talk today. But I didn't have my bonus streaks on. And I was thinking for ages, like, why aren't I getting bonus streaks? But I realized I didn't have them turned on. So my first specialist streak is blind well my first one is actually hardline the reason why i got hardline first uh if you want them in order you have to select it in the order you want okay so if i want hardline first i select hardline then i'll go up to ping or blind eye sorry and then i'll go down to ping okay so the reason why i got hardline on first is because basically um it takes three kills to get that so once you have three kills the next one's supposed to be six kills because you got hardline on it becomes five kills and then ping that's supposed to be nine kills becomes eight kills so you really start like I think if you had hardline first, you can got a much like you got more of an advantage to get the other, other perks, get killing, and have more advantage over the enemy before they can even start to think about you getting a KM streak strike or whatever. So yeah, I think that's really important to have a hardline on, especially when you're going for a KM. Uh, okay, so blind eye, undetectable by air support, oracle systems, and sentries. Sentries, sentries, sentries. Sorry, I was looking at my monitor then because. Um, my Xbox started gun doofing. Gun doofing! Okay. What? Okay, that failed. I did not press that. <laughs> but, we got blind eye. Undetectable by air support, oracle systems, and sentries. Okay, so the good thing about this is, say if they have, um, I don't know what, it's like a dragonfly type thing. If they have one of them, it won't be able to see you. If they use oracle systems, an oracle is basically where the enemy can basically see you through walls. It's really OP perk. But uh, is it a perk or is it a kill streak? I think it's a kill streak. It might be a perk or is it a kill streak? I don't, I don't actually know. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, but really, it's really OP. So they can pretty much see you through walls. So they know when you're about to run out and stuff like that. So blind eye, really important perk. They don't have a clue where you are. Last but not least is ping. Activate a sonar ping upon killing an enemy, revealing nearby hostiles. Basically, that is kind of like the oracle, but it's like a second, two seconds long. Sends out a radar. Um, a radioactive radar that basically just reveals where they are behind walls so you get you have like a little you have a kind of an idea where the enemies are before they know where you are so you can prepare for them so i think that's really important and this video is taking a while we're on like nine minutes already so i'm going to hurry this up now okay so off the grid this is my bonus kill streak okay so we've got off the grid undetectable on a minimap by satcom and radar pings okay so radar ping is what basically we just had there the ping um so they had, do not have a clue where we are. So it's really good. That really just takes us off the map altogether. Especially when you get to 10, 11 kills. With the hard line, it'll be 10 kills. Um, being off the radar is so important. And being stealthy and silence. And it's just, that's all you need to be. You just need to be quiet. Where they don't have a clue where you are. We use silence run and just keep running around and killing them. And they will not have a clue where you are. As long as you keep moving. So it's all good. Okay, and the last one is Dead Eye. Okay, it's a five point perk. But it's really, really good, I think. I think, like... I found it like really important. Um, I always started using it in. I had it. I had it for two games. Okay, the first game I think got like an 18 kill streak, and then the second game I dropped to KEM. 
So basically this is really important perk, okay? So consecutive kills increase the chance to deal more damage with bullet weapons. Okay, so say if I'm across the map, I keep shooting a guy. Say if I get dead eye, I shoot a guy a couple of times. I shoot a guy, I shoot another guy, I shoot another guy. That will activate dead eye just like that. And basically, uh, I could shoot someone across the map with two bullets, kill them instantly. Shoot a guy from close range with like one bullet, two bullets, dead. Especially with a honey badger with a silencer, that is so important because you will just win every gunfight. But if you don't keep getting consecutive kills, so say you have like two kills and like a 30 second gap and then another two kills, like... It will run out in that first second gap, so you have to restart it off again. So that's dead eye for you. I think it's, I think it's really good because I like just going crazy and like running their base and like winning gunfights. So I found that perk absolutely amazing. So that's my first class sorted. And we're just gonna go on to the M tower. Okay, this is not a class setup or anything like that. So ignore all my stuff. This one is basically the accuracy class. I did do a video on this as an accuracy class on its own, but <clears throat> I would like to do it again. But in this video, okay, so I think it's really important. Uh, basically, you got the MTAR X equipped with silencer and a tracker sight. Okay, so basically, if you don't know what a tracker sight is, it's a um, it's an advanced targeting sight. Ha blah, 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 blah. Advanced targeting sight highlights that and tracks enemies. Press B when ADS to flip up integrated iron sights. Okay, so when you're aiming down the sight, that's what ADS means, a um, aiming down sight. When you press B, it flips up to iron sights, okay? So you can either use that, or if you flip to the iron sights with this class, your gun has no recoil whatsoever, okay? So if you run that, if I get rid of my pistol, and I have all the same perks and stuff as my honey badger class, that class would be just as good as the honey badger class. You don't even need full grip, because that basically acts as full grip. So that is my second favorite class to get a KM strike. And that's all for this video, guys. Hope you guys have enjoyed it. Hope I've taught you something. Hope you've learned something. I've sounded quite nasal in this video because I don't know why. I just ate, felt fine. And then I started to record in this and I started coughing within the first 10 seconds. I was like, whoa, what's going on here? And yeah, so I hope you guys did enjoy that. My name has been JME Imagine. I hope I did like inspire you to go and get that KEM strike. I hope I helped you. Hope you guys can appreciate what I just did for you there. And yeah, by all means, do go check them classes out. If you do get a KM strike and you record it and then leave it as a video response to this video, uh, by all means, do share this with your friends. It's absolutely amazing if you could do that. Um, I think this is real good class setups and it could help a lot of people out, especially the people who aren't as good at Call of Duty as others. So, yeah, my name is me, Jamie Imagine, guys. Thanks so much for watching. And as always, I'll see you in the next video. Comment, rate, subscribe. Like it if you, if you like the video, like it, subscribe if you're new. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, guys. Peace.